Michael Bush was elected in 1986. Before that, though, he was a high school teacher and a coach. He worked for the Anne Arundel County Rec Department. So you can imagine there are going to be a lot of people showing up to say farewells to the state's longest serving speaker. Michael Bush passed away last Sunday while undergoing treatment for pneumonia. Today, he will be escorted by Maryland State Police starting at noon today from the John M. Taylor Funeral Home on Duke of Gloucester Street to the State House, where he lie in state at the rotunda for underneath the dome from 1 until 7 today and tomorrow from 8 in the morning until 10 a.m. Then tomorrow, a procession will depart from the State House to St. John Newman Catholic Church on Bestgate Road. Speaker Bush will be laid to rest after a service at 11 tomorrow, and after that service, there will be a reception open to the public from 1 until 4. That's happening at Ackerson Tower at the Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. Bush's family has set up the Michael E. Bush Memorial Fund, and the proceeds will be used to establish scholarships in his name. It is appropriate since education topped his list of priorities. Over the past week, his colleagues have talked about his contributions to the state. Despite his declining health, Michael Bush continued working alongside fellow Marylanders until his final days. Now, as far as going to the State House today and tomorrow, a few important things to pass along. City officials noted that no flowers, sealed envelopes, or other offerings will be permitted into the State House. All visitors will need to go through security screening, and that includes metal detectors, and photo identification is required to enter the building. Jason and Mindy, back to you.